Just gotta wait for the train to pass. Should be any day now. Okay, this is just getting ridiculous. It's gone, okay. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, thank you so much for tuning back in. Today I'm going to tell a little bit of a story and it was of my favorite day of all of my travels. And that was the time I was accidentally in France when they won the World Cup. Yes, uh, it was a complete accident. We literally did not plan this whatsoever. We just happened, it happened to line up in our trip. And a part of me feels kind of bad because I know like millions of people would have died to be in my place, but... Uh, <laughs> It is what it is and it was damn incredible. So basically, yeah, I was with my sister. We were in Nice and we were at our hostel and people were like, yeah, it's the World Cup today. And we we're like, what? All right, that sounds fun. And everyone's like, yeah, we talked, we asked around people are like, okay, go to the fan zone. It's the best place. They're screening on this giant, like, huge projector screen. There's gonna be thousands and thousands of people there. So we did, <laughs> obviously we went. We went kind of early, good thing, because they stopped letting people in shortly after us actually. And we were with these two other guys and they were like, hey, do you girls mind giving us, like, we'll give you some cash. You might get us, us some beers because there were long lines. We're like, you can probably get it quicker. We're like, yeah, of course, no worries. So we did a thing, we snuck in there and it cost more than it said on the sign. And we were a little bit confused and they explained that there's a one euro cup deposit per cup and immediately dollar signs filled our eyes. <laughs> we knew, we knew what we had to do. So after we got the beers, we started going up to people and chatting with them. And when they had empties, we were like, oh, hey, we can get rid of that for you. No worries. And they're like, oh, merci beaucoup. And we're like, ah, oh, pas de problème, it's all good. And then we go and bring them to the beer tent and we did get one euro per cup. And then we noticed the dumpsters were pretty full. And we looked at each other and we were with this one other guy who was from the States and we called ourselves the International Cup Grinders. Yes, am I embarrassed? Do I regret it? No. Would I do it again? In a heartbeat. Uh, we ended up dumpster diving throughout the entire game and at the end of the day we actually ended up making 150 euros between my sister and I which was about 225 dollars Canadian so you gotta do what you gotta do am I right so yeah we were in this fan zone it was like 35 degrees it was beautiful we were in shorts and we decided not to buy like France swag because first of all we're traveling on a budget, you know? Can't afford that. Second of all, we thought it'd be a little bit more fun to find it, and that we did. We wore these as little shirts, and I backpacked with this for three months afterwards because it was worth it. I knew I knew it would like remind every time I looked at it, it would just make me instantly happy, and it did. And yeah, the France won. I watched the last five minutes of the game. It was absolutely incredible. Let me tell you, I have never seen so many grown men cry in such a small space. <laughs> It was great though. Everyone was crying, hugging, screaming. People were climbing up flagpoles, up fountains. This one guy brought his bike up the fountain. People were like letting off this, like, I don't even know what you call it. It's like, um, like colorful stuff. And the town was literally painted uh, red, white, and blue. And it was absolutely beautiful. It was such a magical experience, honestly. And after the game, we all decided to go by the ocean and have a couple drinks. That in itself, what just like casually drinking on the french riviera it was i wish i could relive it honestly it was it was such an incredible day and then we decided to go and bar hop at night and you know beers were on us without 225 euros dollars sorry whatever and yeah we ended up just making really awesome friends and just and the other thing is i weirdly turn bilingual when i have some liquor in me could not tell you why or how well, I went to a French immersion school when I was younger and it all just comes out when I have alcohol in me. So I swear, to, I was talking French all night. It was great. And yeah, that was honestly one of the best nights of my whole entire life. And I thought I'd share it with you. So I hope this video helped you procrastinate on, you know, everyday life because that's what your girl's here for. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And please tune back to soon because I honestly have so many stories that I am dying to tell. So have a good day.